Uh, two seasons, 105 appearances, 5,744 minutes, 63.7 matches of 90 minutes, five finals. Now, we can talk about development for Marcus Rashford, but let's make it easier. Let's even broaden the entire topic. If I were to ask you to compare Marcus Rashford to the likes of Jordan Sancho at Borussia Dortmund, mm. he was involved in the game yesterday, and Raheem Sterling, who was involved from Manchester City earlier. These three players, you can include other names as well. If I were to ask you and ask you to rank them development-wise, where's Marcus Rashford? Marcus Rashford would probably be at the top. Ahead of Jordan Sancho yeah. and Raheem Sterling? Yeah. Wow. He would be. Because with the body of work of 105 games is a lot for a young man. It is a lot. And you've got to take into consideration... I know Raheem Sterling's been doing it at Manchester United. He's suffered with a couple of injuries, but he's played the majority yep. as well. So it will be out of Rashford and, and, and Sterling. But the club that he's at, at Manchester United, are a huge club. He's keeping Anthony Marshall out of the team at times. There's times where, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot of minutes for a young man. He's, and he's only a young man. I, I would agree. The only thing I'll, I'll throw into the mix would be, I think Josie's going into a press conference. I've had enough of this argument. I don't go on with Rashford. And this is, I'm going to give you stats right back. I mean, you listen to these stats, Kevin's 100% right. The amount of games the lad's played for a young guy is huge. The only thing I would say against it, if you, if you go right back to Manchester United when they had Bruce and Pallister, Ince, Robson... And the gigs in that were coming in. They had big, big characters to lean back on. Yeah. This kid's no. He, he's not got massive, big characters. He's got characters, no doubt about it. But years gone by, when you had your Bruce and Pallister, they were bringing the younger ones through. So, so it was easier yeah. as a young player. Now people are saying, well, why is he not playing? He should be one of your starters. And that's a big, big burden, especially when it's a club as big as Manchester United who are expected to win things. So if he's not good enough to start, that means he has not come along. Yes, you have mentioned the fact that he has played enough and more games, but you look at the likes of Deli Ali, who is a regular starter getting it done. So how do you define progress for a player like Marcus Rashford or for any youngster out there? What would you say is that benchmark? Well, I think 105 games in two seasons is progress. We know he started off like a, like a train, like a house on fire. Scoring goals. Scoring goals. It's, it's one thing when you come in and you're scoring goals. But Paul made a really good point just before. You've got to, to, to be given the opportunity to carry the mantle at Manchester United, mm. arguably the biggest club in the world. For a 20, 21, 22-year-old, yeah. that's a heavy burden. It's hard enough for Lukaku. Lukaku came for 90 million, mm. let alone a homegrown player to come through the ranks to try and carry that burden on his back. I don't think that's right. I think he has developed... I think his international career has developed as well. We've seen him have unbelievable games for England, score some fantastic goals. But he's not the finished article yet. Yeah. We've got to take that into consideration. There's no way he is. Yeah. So th where does the frustration stem from then for you, Paul? Is it because, like Kevin mentioned, there's people out there watching him score goals for England, mm -hmm. but questioning why he can't start for Manchester United up front? But if you look at it, and I'm pretty sure if you go back to it, you remember, how did he make his debut? Mm. He was in the stand. He was. And there was an injury, wasn't it? There That's was an right. injury. Marshall got injured. Absolutely. And the, the kid got thrown in. And then all of a sudden, within two years, everybody thinks he's going to be our main Manchester United player. It's too much of a burden for a young player to, to carry that millstone round his neck. Mm. The big players, Lukaku, Pogba, eh, Small and De Gea, they should be helping him and protecting him. Not a young 21-year-old is going to be Manchester United's saviour. That's it's too much pressure on him, far too much. So Jose Mourinho is getting it right with Marcus Rashford? I believe mm. he is. When you're a young player, we've been there, mm. you want to play every game. But what you do is you understand that the type of club you're at, you're not going to play every game. So what you've got to do is be prepared. 